There's uh, some debate or some opinions that I hear about uh, bicycle spokes saying I even found it on DT Swiss's website that they break because of too much load. It is my theoretical knowledge and so far experience that spokes usually break because of material fatigue, not because they get too much load, unless they are physically damaged, cut by something. And uh, the, the basis of that is that uh, sp spokes can take a lot more load, a lot more tension than either the rim or the hub can take. Either one of those two would break first before a spoke breaks. And if you use too much tension on all the spokes, you are very likely to either have hub's flanges cracked, especially if it's radially laced wheel, or to have the rim completely collapse and become tackled or deformed. And that's what I will try to do in this experiment. I will uh, leave all the spokes on this wheel as they are and I have marked one spoke which I will try to put under a lot of tension and see if I can get it to break and how it would break whether on the side where the nipple is or at the elbow or somewhere midsection. In order to make this experiment work I have used a nipple washer to distribute the load over the over this wider area on the rim so that it doesn't fly through the rim otherwise I would have a high risk of the the nipple pulling being pulled out of the rim completely so I have greased the interface very well and the spoke threads and also put a nipple washer and I will put some protective gear and start tightening this spoke and see what happens but before I do that let's see about the tension of these spokes this one says it's about 140 kilogram force this one 100 this one 110 this one this one is a bit loose about 80 i will not take your time to measure the entire rim just to see that the it's a rear wheel so the left hand side spokes are a bit less tight this is under 80 kilogram force this is also under 80 around 70 kilogram force tension and this one is a bit tighter than the others so it's not a perfectly well built wheel but it's not too bad and it was important for this experiment for all the spokes to not be loose so they can hold the rim in place now i will put some protective gear and i will ask the camera love the camera lady to step back a bit just in case and also what I will do is to I have marked this spoke that I have reinforced the interface I will also put some more tape so that when when the spoke breaks if it comes flying out it can be held in place so we have rim tape and I will also reinforce it I will put the gloves and I got these long sleeves just in case. I've never done this before and this will be extremely high tension for the spoke. And I will put this downwards hoping that it will, if it flies out, hit the ground. And now I will start tightening this spoke. All right, it's a lot tighter now. Let's check on its tension right now. 140 kilogram force. Let's try to tighten it a bit more before we get to the danger zone. Okay, let's see now the situation. 
Now it's around 160 kilogram force or just under it. Let's try to tighten this a bit more. Okay. Now it shows 160, just over it. But I don't know if we are reaching the point where the, the threads of the spoke are getting dirty are getting torn. Okay, now I measure just one more time and see. Okay, we are way past what this tool can measure. And this is exponential scale, so I'm expecting this to be at about 190, maybe near 200 kilogram force. And wheels are usually built to 150 kilogram force tension at most. Now let's see what happens. If I keep tightening this, I'm really not sure whether there's any danger right now. I've never done this before to this amount of tension. Keeping this away from me as much as possible, I will even turn my back to it and I will roll down my sleeves just in case. I don't want to be injured so I cannot work. Okay, now let's see. No, we are getting no effect. This is some hor horrific amount of tension. The whole rim is deforming, but the spoke is still not breaking. I will call this OK. As I was trying to unscrew it, it broke at the, the way out of the nipple. So where the threads of the spoke are starting, that is where it broke off with a lot of, with a lot of force. I don't know which, what kind of tension we have achieved, but it wasn't a little. And you can see how it got deformed over the other spoke by pull all that pushing force. And I'm not sure if you can see, but the whole rim was pressed inwards. And it didn't break on the elbow and didn't break on the mid section. And in order to experiment with that, I would have to use a spoke that is swagged in the middle and then it has wider threads and elbow section and see whether I could get that one to break in the mid section. But it is apparent that the amount of tension that a spoke can take is a lot higher than you would ever put into a wheel that is, that is built with spokes. And also, as you can see in my other video that I will publish, that I have published, when the load is carried, it is spread around many spokes of the wheel, not just by one. And often, sometimes, load is transferred by uh, spokes losing some tension. And if some tension is gained, it's usually a few percent, but it's never double the tension of a normally built wheel, unless you put some really crazy sideways force that would also probably damage some other components before spokes break from having too much load on them 
So I don't think it's likely that spokes break because of too much load. I think it's because of material fatigue. I hope you have found this video as interesting as I have found making it. And uh, I was a bit scared. I wasn't sure what would happen and how it would crack because I've never put so much tension on a, on a spoke before. Not nearly as much. I never went over 160 kilogram force. No, not even once and I didn't know what would happen. So it was a bit exciting experience for me. Thank you for watching and cheers.